What's up? This is HC News here. So I'm calling out Facebook because every now and then, it's not very often, there's this some kind of, you know, thing where they say, uh, oh, you don't like this picture of this, uh, you know, you don't share this and like this and type amen or whatever they call it uh, about a picture, you know, when they're having trouble with the kids, you know, and, you know, gross things like that, like eyes where they're blind and like, uh, this is becoming an issue on Facebook, including some of these things that are, that are not completely true. And I don't think, I think Facebook should be, uh, watching for these, uh, posts that are completely, uh, fake, including asking, you know, how, hey, if you post this, we'll give you money. Like, go gay tay out with the, you know, the sign up and all this. This is, Facebook has been getting a lot of that fake, um, information and I don't like it and I I'm thinking next time I get one of those I'm gonna report it because one that is social bullying bullying in a social way and two no autistic kid should have to go through this like I am having to be like uh wait a minute this is not right this is the Lord didn't have Facebook back then why would it count it's like okay I might sound really you know but you know think about it in the day those posts should be done. All they are is getting people to give in to something, make them believe that there's bad luck coming their way, and uh, it needs to be resolved with Facebook right now. It's like, uh, thankfully, it's not on YouTube, so I'm really glad that, you know, YouTube is <laughs> listening and not allowing that to happen. It's just surprising me that Facebook seems like the biggest target for this right now where they have all these things like oh you don't do this it's like 14 seven years of bad luck and uh, I don't technically believe in that because I know it's completely fake and then I mean all these fake things like oh these fake uh, um, movie stars passing away when technically it's not true like just lately um, there are these things that take advantage of people and uh, yeah it's horrible so, you know, I live on, you know, I watch, I, I go on Facebook every now and then, but it's becoming a really big issue. If you need to change, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below. I guess this, this sucks for, I mean, they keep doing this basically. And then what really sucks is my Xbox One uh, power supply is apparently uh, buzzing and making noise. Which means I'm probably going to have to replace the console because I ain't supposed to replace by uh, replacing any parts online. So there'll be another 400 bucks I'm going to have to, going to have to spend on a new console. Or I just say, hey, save up money, get a gaming computer. But no, because I got a lot, of, I got a lot of titles on that console, and um, yeah, I just noticed it yesterday. Like, oh god, it's it's loud. It's still doing after. I think I got a broken uh, power supply, but it's still power that I'm not trusting it. And um, I'm probably going to stay away from the Xbox for a while for the console. Luckily, I got the 360 still if I need to. I got the PS4 Pro, which I doubt I'll use, but you know, it, it still works fine. Eh. I tell you, the, all these cheap power supplies are cheap in these Xboxes. And, um, there are cheaper ones, but I would have Microsoft approved. You know, it's like Microsoft made. But those are like $31 plus. I mean, including, since it's in China, it would be added 25% higher uh, tariff tax. And I'm telling you, we don't want to pay for that. It will not show up until you buy the thing. I mean, if we get billed an extra 25% because of Trump, what he did. And, um, I know Microsoft builds their consoles and their products in China. I know for sure, like most uh, gaming consoles, they're in China, and that's where the tariffs really affect the product, and that probably will make the price go up for other products as well. And I just don't support it. I mean, like, why would you do that, okay? It's like, and the guys. I keep seeing on the news that he's, there's a possibility of him being impeached quite literally because of what he's doing. So, uh, 
I wouldn't be surprised if he gets impeached and with deal with all this big mess behind him. It's like, hey, yeah, you, there had to be something up. So yeah, and all these things happening in the U.S., all these crazy things. It's like yeah, when people are being killed, and it's like, yeah. It's horrible. I think about it. I don't want to watch the news. I don't watch the news because of that. It's like, why would you want to watch the news when you see all these occurring or reoccurring? And, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of that. And it's just been horrible the last four years. Um, it's never been like this before. I mean, it just seems like it's every... Someone freaks out or something happens and boom. Uh, there's a half mass before you know it. Um, which is not funny whatsoever because you can't relate people because that's just, that's just how it is. And uh, I wish for the best for the U.S. And um, there are certain things that we can't control, like people will pass away unexpectedly. So it's like, yeah. So I've been watching over myself trying to cut back on the costs and spending and all that, of course, while trying to try to eat healthy as much as I can, but can't always seem like, but wherever. Thank you for watching. See ya.